What's going on everybody? Evan here with Evan's Detailing and Polishing and today I'm going to show you how to show polish this tank. I'm going to take it from this to that, which is glass. We're standing about four feet away right now. You can see the back of that tank is just perfect mirror. That fender is of course about 52 inches away from it. You can see that stripe in it crystal clear. Um, this tank here course we cleaned the back there was grease on it um, but you can see people have been scratching on it and wiping on it at the show everybody wants to feel it as King says don't F and touch it but everybody wants to rub on it yes those brackets are chrome it was a nice little touch that I wanted to make to be different but here's my setup it's a untreated white um, we don't currently sell these on GoShineOn.com but we will be selling them uh, soon we do stock them for a couple polishers that have been buying them, but um, we don't use them on the regular. Um, I want to say this buff is five years old. It goes to show you how often we use them. We've got my show brown over there. And then we have a 40 ply loose white with our show green. So um, that's our current setup for today. And like I said, I'll run them between 1400 and 1800 RPM. Um, I will rake them out before I use them to kind of soften them up. Uh, we want them to be as nice and soft as possible and of course this one was just laying on the floor so we don't want that either um, we want to get them nice and clean um, but yeah let's get started on that right there of course always put on a full face respirator yeah i know my face is dirty um, we polished the truck this morning and of course every time i get a phone call i take this off and there's dust floating around in the air and every time i put it back on that dust sticks to my face. I sweat and the dust just, you can't get away from it. So yes, I wear a respirator. You can see the nose cup on my face from where I take it on and off all the time. Um, but try to explain to some of the safety Nazis why my face is still dirty underneath a respirator. My respirator has been fit tested. It fits very well. It does keep the dust out. If I would stay off my phone and not answer the phone every time it rang, my face would actually stay rather clean. But here we go.
All right, now if you notice, I didn't really use a ton of compound on that. These soft buffs really hold the compound well, and I didn't really load up a ton of compound in the buff because I didn't want to oversaturate that bottom. So what I did was I just put a little bit on there and I made it all the way from bottom all the way up to the top. Now I understand these tanks are the original tanks that were on here in 1984 and they're spotted. I mean, they've got some really deep dings and pits in them that, like I said, even after sanding it for two days, we still don't have them out. I'm pretty sure if we got some of these out, we'd have a leaky tank. And I wanted to keep the 1984 tanks that were on here so we didn't replace them and put new on. But I just wanted to show that that's the white all the way up. Super clean, super fresh. All we're gonna do is hit it with the white and green and we'll finish it up that way. So it's literally as simple as that. As you saw, same thing with the white and green. The green I loaded up a little more just because at 1400, the buff doesn't like to melt that rouge down real easy to get it loaded up. Um, but once I had it loaded, I was just waiting for it to change that green color. And I went from bottom all the way to top so I don't have any transition lines. There's no excess rouge in the middle. And now if you look close, you'll see it's crystal clear all the way from bottom all the way to top. You don't see any changes in light reflection. It looks the same all the way from top to bottom. And that's what I'm always looking for, um, especially when you get to this high-end stuff. Um, it just really takes a long time. It's a very, very tedious process. I kind of blazed through it to give you guys an oversight, but I'm going to come back and recut this and recolor it a few extra times. I'll let it cool down in between each day of doing it just to get it up to that gloss where I want it to be. Uh, it's headed down to the Wildwood Truck Show. Uh, Don Wood's actually hauling it down for us, so I'm super excited to uh, let people see it down there. Uh, thank you all for the people that stopped by at Louisville to come see it. I'm super excited. There was a lot of people who liked it and a few people that didn't, and we're okay with that because uh, it's exactly what I was hoping for. So thank you guys for stopping by and tuning in. I hope you found this video useful, and uh, hopefully in the future, uh, as you get closer to this, you guys can do the same thing. Uh, like I said, it's the best I know. I'm far from perfect, but this is the closest thing I know to getting to perfection. So I hope you guys found it useful, and uh, we'll see you again sometime soon. Deuces.